Well, the SIL project is um, an absolutely transformational project. Um, it aims to put uh, a national landscape discovery centre um, right bang in the middle of Hadrian's Wall, uh, World Heritage Site area within the Northumberland National Park. We need to raise some match funding to allow this project to proceed. Uh, this is a £10.5 million pound project, so um, it's, really, uh, it's really innovative, it's really aspirational. Um, but we have an offer of £6 million pounds from the Heritage Lottery Fund, from their national programme. Um, as a national park authority and with our partners at the Youth Hostel Association, we're bringing some funding to the project. But there's a funding gap of £3.7 million. Pounds, um, and today we're launching our fundraising appeal. Working with the National Park, developing the SIL, gives a fantastic opportunity for many thousands of young people for decades to come into the future. We're really supportive as an organisation of, of the partnership and the project and we're wholeheartedly behind the campaign to raise the remaining £3.7 million. Pounds. We've come a long way, still some way to go, so if there are people out there that can help us, that would be fantastic. I think the opportunities for youngsters is tremendous. I mean, in this sort of fast-age, technology-driven society in which we live with sort of iPads and sort of uh, computers and... Uh, Sort of computer games. Yeah. I think this is a fantastic opportunity to re-engage youngsters with the outdoors, so they can learn about conservation, wildlife, landscapes, and what I'm particularly interested in: outdoor activities. We think it's a great idea because obviously, like kids are around in city centres, and it's quite out of the way, so it'll be like a quite nice, relaxing venture for kids. I mean, kids are kind of cooped up in their home nowadays, all with this technology and stuff like that. So it'll be a good like opportunity to get out and see what the nature has like to offer so it'll be really good for kids to experience outdoors not just learn inside because sometimes it does get a bit boring and tedious inside but to come out and experience it for yourself is really good experience and something you can use later on in your life a recent survey by the national trust found that 11 to 15 year olds half of their time is spent watching a screen whether that's in school or, or at home and the need for for somewhere to actually access and open Northumberland up to get people out is, is really important. Uh, we run residential and, and day courses and work very closely with the National Park and we're really excited about the possibility of the SIL. And where it is, it's an ideal location because you've got the heritage of, uh, of the Hadrian's Wall but also further into the National Park it'll make an easy access and open for people to come in. If the gap stays and we don't get the funding, well we can say we've tried, we did our best but that's it. Um, we'll have to retrench but we, we, what we can do as a national park. Um, far, far more limited than what we could do if we get this. So the benefits to the economy will not be realised. I think that there will be a more difficult um, decision to be taken by our partners, the Youth Hostel Association. Mm. It might be that we lose the last youth hostel run by the YHA in Northumberland National Park, which would be a huge lo loss, not just to our area, but probably to the region and for generations to come. So really what we'd like to do is, is also appeal to the public of the North East, people who've got an affinity with the North East, and anybody who's interested in the countryside and helping our young people get more out of the countryside to further their education and to further their careers. So we're really after small sums, we're after middle-sized sums and we need one or two large sums as well.